Hi guys, Kerry here. So in this video I want to talk to you guys about something that I was reflecting on today. And it's something that I believe every parent wants to have with their children. And that is a really good relationship. By good relationship, I mean having a friendship relationship. Obviously having a parent and, and daughter or parent and son relationship where they respect you. And respect what you say. And the advice that you give to them. But something that I was reflecting on today is probably one of the most important things that I want to have with my daughters is a relationship where they have trust for me. They trust me enough to be able to talk to me and to tell me everything that's happening with in their lives um, and not to hide things from me. I think one of the things that bothers me is the fact that teenage suicides are on the rise and I blame bullies and social media and lack of education and by lack of education I mean the lack of education in our schools and in the homes that the children are brought up in um, in teaching children how to empower themselves, how to increase their self-esteem, how to choose friends wisely, how to be a good friend, how to not be the bully, how to handle themselves around bullies. And by handling themselves, I don't mean swearing at the bully or getting angry with the bully being assertive um so many things um and social media just opens up the doors to more bullying and then comes the problem with children not feeling comfortable to open the, the up open themselves up to talk about it and who better to talk about it to than your mum or your dad or both. And for that to happen, I have made it my mission to, to not let anger get the better of me. And I think that if more parents do this, and I know it's easier said than done, but for me, I don't see the benefit of anger. There doesn't ever seem to be a positive outcome from people getting angry. If you have a mum or a dad getting angry with the child, it's number one, teaches the child that that's a positive way. It's, it's a way of handling themselves. So that could encourage the child to also show those angry feelings. It also teaches the child to be angry, uh, not to be angry, sorry, to be scared of the mum or the dad who's getting angry. And then when they grow up, if they can, you know, if that anger continues from the parents to the child, then the child will be scared to open themselves up to their parents when they get bullied or if they're having any problems at school or 
in the outside world with partners and I want to be that mum who has that child who opens themselves up to me. I, I want to know what's happening in my daughter's life. Uh, I just, I want to be there for her. And I was bullied as a child and and I, I learned the hard way. Excuse me. <laughs> And I always said to myself, I wasn't going to cry on camera. And I learned the hard way as to how to handle myself. But some children, I know some children can be really, really cruel. And we need to, these children to have avenues to you know, and people they can trust. And who better to trust than your own parents? So... I challenge all of you out there to stop your anger, turn your life, turn those emotions around, be calm, teach your children how, how to be calm, how to control your emotions in a positive way. Because, you know, as the secret says, your emotions attract things. So anger will attract negative circumstances. Positive emotions will attract positive circumstances. So, <laughs> um, I challenge all of you out there to please listen to your children, talk to your children calmly, openly, and encourage them to do the same with you gain their trust I'm sure you already have their trust but let them feel comfortable with you and if you see I mean you know deep down if your child is scared to do something around you then you have promoted that fear so if you're trying to teach them something, don't do it in an aggressive way. Do it in a way in a way that's going to encourage them. Do it in a way that's going to uplift them. Teach them good choices in a positive way. And that is my ramble for the day. <laughs> So it's just something that I wanted to talk about today and something that I was talking about with a friend today as to what we want with our relationship with our children and that is probably one of the most important things that I want to have with my child is for them to obviously absolutely love me but to also be able to talk to me about anything. Um, I definitely don't want to be a mum that's going to smother and always ask questions. Um, but I do want to create a relationship with my daughters that allow them to feel comfortable to come to me and talk to me about anything. So, yeah... So, that's all I need to say for today. So, I'll talk to you guys soon with some more, some more videos on pregnancy and babies and parenting. Okay, love you guys. Bye.